guys, Shane Storms with DroidModerX.com. Today I'm going to show you guys the Make Make ROM by Chingy and Nuda Root. They put together a stable base ROM. Now this is going to have all kinds of extra features in the uh, builds that are to come. This is version 1.0.0. Uh, so there are some custom features here. It is built on Jelly Bean 4.1.1. It includes HTC Sense 4 Plus. Now, it also includes the Aroma Installer, which means that you can actually go through during the installation and remove all the parts of HTC that you do not like. So you can take out pretty much all of HTC Sense if that's what you want. So you can have a Sense ROM or a Senseless ROM, uh, and I'll show you guys that later whenever we get to the installation. Uh, it's also DODX, it's fully rooted, and it includes an advanced power menu. So if we hold the power button, you'll see that we do have an advanced power menu. We can restart, power off, we can go directly to the bootloader, directly to recovery, uh, we can change our mobile network status, uh, or put it in airplane mode, so that's really cool. That is so much easier than powering down, restarting, and hitting the volume down to get to the bootloader, and then going to recovery. This makes things a whole lot easier. So it also includes custom launchers, so you don't even have to have the HTC Sense launcher. You can actually have Apex or Nova Launcher. That's also included in the ROM install. You have your selections to choose from uh, in the Aroma installer. So one thing you'll notice is that the Wi-Fi notification is totally removed here, so that pesky Wi-Fi notification is not going to bother you. Uh, G apps are totally integrated, and you can also choose those whenever you are installing it in Aroma. You can choose to have the G apps, or you can choose not to have the G apps. It will install what you tell it to install. So for the most part, you'll see that this ROM is nice and fast. It doesn't lag at all. Of course, it is Jelly Bean, and it does include Project Butter, so it is going to run fast. And we know that uh, the stock DNA runs plenty fast. Uh, but what we get here is some customizations, and there will be more customizations to come in the future. So really want to keep an eye on the Mic Mic ROM from Chingy and New to Root. Those are two guys that have been really heavy in the HTC ROM community for quite a long time. They've proven themselves on other devices, and I know that what they're going to make on this device is going to be awesome. Okay, so we'll go ahead and install the ROM. Because our phone is S on, security on, uh, we're going to have to flash the boot image separately. Now, if you've already flashed a rooted boot image, then uh, you will not have to do this process. If you've never flashed a boot image, then you will definitely have to do this process. If you don't, then the ROM will not install correctly. Uh, so it's really easy. So don't worry. The first thing you want to do is go to the Start menu and type in CMD, which will open a command line. So CMD. And the next thing you want to do, uh, make sure your phone is in USB debugging mode, and you're going to type ADB. Reboot, bootloader, hit enter. That's going to boot your phone into the bootloader mode. So if that was successful, uh, your phone should now be on this screen. I know it's fuzzy. Uh, that's the screen your phone should be on. So you need to have downloaded the ROM to your computer and you need to have unzipped it. When it's unzipped, you're looking for this boot.image, so you'll open up. I just created my own folder, Mic Mic ROMs, and unzipped the whole ROM to that folder. And from here, you will hit Shift, right-click, and open a command window here. And then what you're going to need to type here is fastboot flash boot boot.img. So fastboot space flash space boot space boot dot img and now that's sending the boot to the phone that's completed now we can boot into recovery and install the ROM now you need to have the ROM not only on your computer for the boot dot image but also on your SD card on your phone so you could just download that directly to your phone and that will be in your download folder uh, so we'll go to the phone and install this ROM okay so from this screen we're just going to volume down one to recovery and hit power to select that. That's going to boot us into Team Win Recovery Project or Clockwork Mod Recovery, whichever one you have flashed. Okay, so now that you're booted into recovery, the install process is very simple. We're just going to wipe, factory reset, swipe to wipe, go back, Davit cache, swipe to wipe, back, cache, swipe back, 
and we'll go back again. We'll install the ROM. So it's the CODIS 1.0.0, and we will swipe flash. Now this is going to bring up the Aroma Installer, which will give us all sorts of different options. Now here you get to basically customize your ROM. This is what's so cool about the uh, Mic Mic ROM. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to install this the way that I would like to install this. You can kind of go your own way and you'll end up with a different experience than me. I'm just going to go with the ICS theme. So this would be more like an AOSP theme. That just changed the theme of the Aroma installer is all that that did. And so we're going to go next. Agree with the terms, hit next. So you can either go with the default, this is the way that they package it, uh, and then we could go with custom. So I'm going to go with custom so I can select my own customizations. Uh, here we can select the applications that we would like to install. I'll go with they're already pre-selected, so you would just go through and deselect the ones that you don't want. So here you could actually desense the entire ROM by removing everything that's by HTC. There's some second party launchers here, so if I wanted, you know, a more stock style, I could do, you know, like an Apex. There's all sorts of wallpapers that are included with this ROM as well. And then all kinds of keyboards. So here you can choose an auto brightness setting and a camera mode. I'm going to stick with a stock camera and the stock auto brightness. Click next to start the installation. So we'll go ahead and click next. And now it's going to begin to install the ROM. So when it's all finished, you'll get this screen. Uh, big shout outs to Chingy and Nudaroot for making this a seamless installation. Uh, very easy. The only thing that might have tripped up some of you guys was uh, installing the boot image. But as you guys saw, that was really easy as well. So the S on seems to not be that big of a problem. Of course, we'll be able to do all kinds of stuff once we have S off. Uh, but anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Click the subscribe button for more video coverage on the Droid DNA, the Galaxy Note 2, the Nexus 10, the Nexus 7, and all the, you know, the Galaxy S3, all the stuff that I cover. And uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. So here it is. This is Bean's custom build one for the Galaxy Note 2 on Verizon. Now, right off the bat, you're going to notice that...